video we're going to talk about using resources efficiently and uh, we already know that all the points along the, the P along the PPF are efficient so to, so we compare costs and benefits because we want to determine the efficient qu quantities to produce so pretty much along all these uh, dots for what we want we compare the costs and benefits to see if it's the best action we should take to see if it's uh, what we want to produce uh, between the two goods, the amount that we want, the amount that we want to produce between the two goods. Now, the PPF and marginal costs. We already know from past videos that the PPF determines opportunity costs. Now, the marginal cost of a good is the opportunity cost of producing one more unit of it. And we talked about this in uh, chapter one that the opportunity cost of producing one more unit of a good is the marginal cost and the marginal cost is calculated from the slope of the PPF. Now uh, this graph here illustrates the marginal cost of a burger and as we move along the, the PPF the opportunity cost of the, a burger increases. So we, we can see here that from that moving from uh, 0 to 1 million burgers are energy bars, it costs us a million energy bars because it drops from 50 million to 14, 40 million. Now moving from 1 million to 2 million, uh, we, it drops, it goes from 14 million bars to 12 million bars, a drop of 2 million bars. And all the way to uh, 4 to 5, from 4 million to 5 million, it costs us 5 million bars. So the, that's increasing, uh, increasing cost of uh, increasing there's increasing opportunity cost of burgers because it's costing us more and more bars as we increase our production of burgers. So as recap, as we move along the PPF in the in this uh, curve, in this uh, yeah, as we move along the PPF, the opportunity cost of burgers increase, and the opportunity cost of producing one more burger is the marginal cost of the burger. So yeah, so the opportunity cost of producing one more Pro opportunity cost of producing one more unit of something one more burger is the marginal cost of the burger now we're going to talk about this graph and then we'll end the video so this is our marginal cost graph and it illustrates the increasing opportunity cost of a burger and these black or blue dots, I don't really know what color they are anymore, shows the marginal cost of the burger and each of the dots passes through uh, the center of each bar. So this, at this uh, point, uh, 2.5 million, it reflects the 2.5 million in, our, in, this, um, in this graph that we just talked about. So, uh, so we can see here that it doesn't really the marginal cost doesn't really reach three until it reaches 2.5 million burgers, so that's why um, at the center of of this graph we have 2.5, uh, which indicates the that the marginal cost is uh, the marginal cost is three million, and that's pretty much what I wanted to talk about in, for this graph and. I just remember that I have one last thing to teach you guys and that is how to calculate the marginal cost from the slope of the PPF. So let's just use this uh, this 2 million burgers and 3 million burgers as an example and remember that slope is pretty much rise over run which is y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. So that's uh, rise over run from uh, pretty much high school math and and y2 would be the number greater than uh, y1 so pretty much 12 minus 9 12 minus 9 and x2 would be the number that's greater than uh, x1 so 3 minus 2 3 minus 2 so 12 minus 9 is 3 and 3 minus 2 is 1 and that is equal to 3 so that's all that's how we got the marginal cost for 2.5 and what do you know? Uh, the when marginal cost is three, then then the marginal cost curve, uh, the marginal cost curve uh, hits a marginal cost of three when uh, we're making two point five million burgers. 
And oh yeah, I forgot lastly, I uh, just want you to know that the definition of allocative efficiency is when goods and services are made at the lowest possible cost and in quantities providing the greatest possible benefit. And uh, I think this has been a long video, but uh, I'm glad you stuck it out with me. Uh, please rate, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Uh, thanks for watching.